Sushi is great for anyone. It doesn't have to be this planned and rigid experience that some might assume. It's not like the tea ceremonies of Japan that's very rigid, and spiritual, or even philosophical. Anybody can enjoy sushi. And even though the protocols change from time to time, we at Kubo Sushi Bar and Grill would like to help you with a few recommendations. First things first, chopsticks. When you first sit down at your table or the sushi bar, you'll be inclined to grab your chopsticks to prepare them for the meal. Never whittle or rub your chopsticks together. You see, you're automatically insinuating that the chopsticks are inferior. If you don't like the pair that you have, maybe there's a few splinters in them, ask for another set. Next, wasabi. Depending on the sushi that you order, sometimes wasabi is already added. You may not even be aware of it. So you may want to consider adding a little less when you actually receive it at your table. But one of the things you may want to ask for is something called hon wasabi, which is a fresh, clean, natural, grated wasabi that only the finer sushi establishments actually carry. If you get the opportunity and you have an interest in trying it, you may want to ask for it. You'd be pleasantly surprised. Mixing soy and wasabi together. I call this wasabi soup. In America, we've gotten into the habit of filling our saucer to the brim with soy sauce, adding wasabi, and making a really powerful concoction. Take my advice. If you get the opportunity to eat real wasabi, don't make wasabi soup. You see, your overall intention is to ensure that the experience, the quality, the cut of the fish, as well as the rice, is perfect without making an overpowering flavor of the soy or wasabi. Bottom line, don't intentionally confuse your tongue. Eating nigiri. Here's how the pros do it. Pour a small amount of soy sauce. You can always add more when you need it. Pick up the nigiri with your fingers. The word nigiri in Japanese actually means to grab. Turn it upside down. Dip the fish, not the rice, into the soy sauce. Eat and enjoy. This allows you to experience the flavor of the fish with a slight complement of the soy sauce. Additionally, you're looking for the perfect balance of fish and rice. Also, by dunking the rice into the soy sauce, the consistency may crumble while affecting the flavor of the rice itself. And that isn't good for anybody. Using chopsticks. When eating sashimi, always use your chopsticks, never use your fingers. But when it comes to nigiri, it's really up to you. Personally, I use my fingers, which is traditional in Japan. But perhaps if the nigiri contains any form of a sauce, like maybe unagi would, you may want to consider using your chopsticks. When it comes to rolls, traditional or untraditional rolls, it's still really up to you. If you'd rather not get the feel on your fingers, not a problem. Use chopsticks. Next. Ginger, otherwise known as gari, is used for two reasons in sushi. Number one, to cleanse your palate between fish or courses. Number two, to aid in digestion. So if you ever see a small mound of gari on your plate, feel free, go right ahead, it's delicious. When sharing sushi from a communal plate, always use the opposite ends of your chopsticks to grab the sushi that you want and place it on your own personal plate. It's much more polite and sanitary rather than using the parts that have already been in your mouth. This way everyone can enjoy the plate of sushi without actually using the wrong ends. Finally, always remember that enjoying sushi is about finding that perfect balance of fish and rice to suit your personal taste. You can have a wonderful meal while sampling the finest flavors and enjoying a great experience with family and friends. For Kubo Sushi Bar and Grill, I'm Carl Rosa. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon.